Well, the St. Louis Art Museum in Forest Park announcing a big change for the first time. The historic museum will have a female director. Well, tonight, Fox 2's Patrick Clark talks with the new director about her move and what to expect from the museum moving forward. There's a number of interesting firsts for this 142-year-old institution in Forest Park. Tuesday morning, the naming of Min Jung Kim, their 11th director in their storied history. I'm, as I understand it, the first uh, woman director of the St. Louis Art Museum. Um, I am the first woman of color, and I'm the first uh, first-generation immigrant to have the privilege to become the Barbara B. Taylor director of the St. Louis Art Museum. Min Jung Kim, born in Korea, has lived and worked in art around the world. After the announcement of the upcoming retirement of Brent Benjamin, an arduous amount of feedback over four months from 239 individuals across the region, outside the museum, and art leaders from around the world, looked at the resumes of many, seeking the highly prestigious museum's top position. Min Jung Kim, we felt we really uh, hit a home run in terms of uh, presentation uh, that she gave to the search committee, which was fascinating in terms of uh, uh, we gave 15 objects from the collection and asked her to uh, think out of the box about how she might show those as an exhibit, uh, what she might do in terms of getting funding for that type of exhibition, uh, even how she would uh, manage a team of people. A big part of my career background has really focused on growth and change and doing so in such a way that it remains relevant to the community. So I'm excited to get to know the community, introduce myself, really have uh, some conversations to listen, to learn, and then find what collectively is going to be in the best interests of the museum in service to the community. Min Jung Kim says she's already bought St. Louis Cardinals baseball caps for she and her seventh grade son and looks forward to exploring the Gateway City. On Art Hill in Forest Park, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.